Welcome to Market Mania! Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to Market Mania! What? No! Pretty bad. No! What? No! This is where I draw the line, sir. <laughs> I will trust my gut. Yes. <gasps> Show us the pickle! It's a butter churn. Mm. The name of the nice little table lamp. Blue's Clues thinking chair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a Whoa. A daddy costume. A cat bathing bag. <laughs> this Barbie roots for OSU. The place where you turn Facebook trash into kind of cash. Uh, 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 uh. Welcome into episode two of Market Mania, the second one of the semester today. We have a great one for you. It's the Battle of the Weathermen. We have Aiden Molinar and Garrett Dutton. Me, 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 me. Now, before we start and you guys introduce yourselves, um, I kind of a little bit wanted to do a segment. You guys were smack talking before. I want you to breathe in, breathe out, and now I want you to say something nice about each other, okay? Garrett, you start. Aiden? I really love the way that you actually do your job. Aww. Garrett, I really like how you give nice, warm, cuddly hugs. Aww. Now beat the <laughs> crap out of each other in my fun, <laughs> <laughs> my fun game show. <laughs> All right, so I know that, Garrett, you said you haven't seen Market Mania. Too lies, much. lies. You, you I saw have last watched season. Market Mania. I just have yet to watch this season. And Market that's okay, Mania. where we I'm saw sorry. Zach Berger take the W. I can officially say that now. He's behind the camera. Congratulations, Zach. Um, but we are going to go into the rules of Market Mania. Can okay. explain a little bit of how the game works? Aven, you've played, but now we actually have set rules. You know, Wait, what? I know, right? It's crazy. I can't imagine <laughs> like I this game. Scammed. Is, this game is actually structured now. Wow. I know. Shocker. Can we see the rules, please? Alrighty, there we go. So the rules of the game. So it's five products for round one and two. One final product in round three. The closest price guess secures the point. Doesn't matter if you go over exact price, gets you two points. Which in our market multiplier, which is today's random, courtesy of Devin Bloomer, uh, you it'll award you double points uh, on that. You know, it's this market multiplier. You'll find it anyway. Uh, the final round is the wager round. Keep the amount of points wagered hidden until the final price revealed. Most points at the end wins. Do you guys have any questions on how this works? No. Um. I'm sure I'll have some along the way, but we'll, we'll play until then. <laughs> so the theme of the day is weather, because you guys are in charge of that. our daily O weather segments. Thank you guys. Very fun. Um, <laughs> all right. I don't think I deserve this. Do you think your weather expertise is going to kind of carry you this this, this game? Expertise. Right expertise. I'm glad you're as confident in my expertise as I would like to be. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like. Not like a crazy amount, but I feel like I have like a little bit of knowledge. I feel like more my Facebook Marketplace expertise mm -hmm. okay. will help me out. Okay, Avon? What's weather? <laughs> We're about to find out. Let's see, <laughs> let's see our first product. <laughs> it's the Severe Storms Forecasting Book out of Wichita, Kansas by Tim Vasquez. You kind of need that if you're going to tell the weather. It's a pretty important thing Are we uh, here in Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah. So, what is the price of this house? Write it down on your board. Ooh. What do we think? Ambient wind noises. Garrett. Um, I went with 78, because I feel like that's you know. standard price for a college book. Mm. Hello. Okay. I went with uh, 35, because mm. I figured, you know, it might be on sale, and who's actually reading that? That's true. Whoa, you know, it kind of looks a little dated. That's my favorite the, book. I mean, <laughs> the cover was worn a little bit. What's your favorite concept? Weather. Mm. Mm. I like it. I like. I it. like I rain. Like I like rain a lot. Rain. Mm. Okay, yeah. we're well, gonna see some rain in this episode too, so that'll be nice. Um, what about you, Avon? My what? favorite concept: the cumulonimbus cloud. Is that because of R.I.P. Mm. Up? Yeah. R.I.P. Uh, Wait. Oh my. God. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Not <laughs> nope. It's a movie. Nope. I don't know why I said that. Just ignore it. Everything I've just said in the past, I don't know how long we've been in the show. Jail. <laughs> Alrighty, so once again, Garrett said 78. Avon said 35. Can we reveal the actual price of this item, please? 40 oh! Avon Molinar is on the board, well, just like that. Thunderstruck. Is his board decorated? No, I don't think so. Mm, so, okay. So that is kind of, you know, it's not, it, that's, that's the start of round one. Uh, that's all we'll do for this round. Uh, but Garrett, I kind of want to go that. into some strategy here. <laughs> 
Garrett, uh, what made you guess so high on that, and how are you planning to kind of rebound from here? Um, yeah, like I said, uh, academics, that looked like a college textbook mm -hmm. to me. So I feel like the way to go is by trying to assume what I would pay for it and go from there. I feel like for a quality college textbook, $78 isn't too bad. Besides, college textbooks normally are like $300 for no reason, so I felt like 78 was standard price. Uh, how do I rebound from this? Um, that's a good question. We'll find out. Mm. <laughs> Aven, how are you going to keep your lead? Well, you know, you just got to, you know, put pucks in goal. He's Get ahead. Not. Be ready. Be Freddy. Let's do this. Mm, I like it. And I, I want you guys oh, to know, you guys found this odd off camera. You're playing for a prize. <gasps> a prize so that was freshly purchased. Get this. At the Oklahoma State Student Union. And you will be finding out what that prize is in the very last round, but for now, we're going to take a commercial break and get into round one right after this. Our state is one of the most beautiful and unique states in the USA. With diverse geographies, the historic Route 66, unforgettable restaurants, and some of the greatest people on the planet. With so much to see and so much to do, living in Oklahoma means one of the best vacation spots is right in our own backyard. Doesn't this story need to be told? As filmmakers and photographers based right here in Oklahoma, we thought so. And hey, who doesn't like a good road trip? So, we packed up our cameras, teamed up with Lieutenant Governor Matt Pinnell and the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department, and that's how this series was born. We want to show you why traveling within the great state of Oklahoma is a great idea. So come join us for thousands of miles over the next year, from Broken Bow to Black Mesa. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. I'm Kristen Hawkins. I went to Oklahoma State University here in Stillwater in 99 to 2004. I've always felt like Stillwater needed more family-friendly things to do, and we have opened up AR Workshop. We do everything from knitting blankets that can be done in a three-hour class, and we create doormats and porch signs. The Christmas wreaths with our yarn that we use for the blankets. We also do, um, we just started a new project for gnomes and we've done pumpkins during the fall. But our big thing that we do here are interior signs. Our designs are extremely unique to our workshop. Customers come in, it's everything is here for them to do. They create everything. They can be as hands-on as they want. They came in here to relax and have fun and that they are proud of their project that they've made. Well, good afternoon, Stillwater. Welcome back to Market Mania. That's how a champ does it Allegedly. right now. Allegedly. You did the thing right now, you're not a you champ. You're down one. But I can tell you this much, I get creativity points, right? Oh, hey, oh, look at that beautiful board. Good afternoon, We're gonna Stillwater. Mm, That's, I, I say that. I get it. <laughs> it's the line. <laughs> you know what else is the line? Let's see our next product. Let's go. Ah, ah, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, that's cute. It's oh, that felt cute. weird saying it. It's a little collectible. It's a squishable. So is it like a squishmallow? It's like a squishmallow. But it's a, it's a, actually, Garrett, it's a collectible no. squishable celestial squishable. storm cloud. It's squishable. <laughs> it's a squishable. It's a squishable cloud. How much is it? It's a great question, Peyton. It is a great question. I feel like <laughs> I'm undershooting this. What is your guess? I'm going to go with a solid 55. Fifty-five dollars. Fifty-five dollars. Fifty-five fries. Fifty-five. 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 Fifty-five bucks. Fifty-five Uh, I'm going with twenty. Uh, keeping it standard. I feel like it's a pillow. Not gonna be too crazy. Mm. Fair enough. It's a very cute pillow, though. Look. It's a very it's very pillow. demure. It's a very demure. <laughs> very mindful. And very. Very what's the answer? It's fifty-five dollars. Oh. Aiden gets double the points. <laughs> the first doubler of the year. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. <laughs> Thunderstruck. <laughs> Aiden, I'm feeling celestial, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, man. Garrett, it's okay. Don't talk. <laughs> we have another weather-related product right here. It's I okay. sure hope it's so. Okay. It's right here. It's coming up. It'll be here eventually. You know, the weather's unpredictable. Exactly. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen. You know, it could yeah, be yeah, a few exactly. degrees off every once in a while. Yeah, you know? it'll Just pop up on screen eventually. Hopefully. Yeah. You know, it might, you know. Hey, there it is. Oh. Oh. Super Mario Sunshine. The weather can be sunshiny. I know the price of this, because I'm a huge freaking nerd. 
So, <laughs> Peyton actually bought it today. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I went looking for this game for the longest time as a kid, and I never could find it. And then I found one at a game store here in Stillwater. So did you get purchased off Market Mania? Or? No, I oh. didn't purchase off Market Mania. So, Dude, this is hard. How much is a GameCube game worth? I'm up first. Uh, Forty dollars. Forty dollars. I went with the low ball and said fifteen. Ooh, that might be more mm. accurate. Mm, oh no, like a thousand dollars. Oh no, Garrett. It's oh no, he got price. it. Oh no, he got it. Price. No, he didn't. He didn't. It's oh, 80 my. bucks. See, that's the deal about this. Why? Why is Why? somebody buying that because, for eighty dollars? Because Super Mario's awesome. I will. I'm only giving fifteen. Peyton, is this it's your not poster? Even sealed. No, this is not it's, enough it. it's not even Are sealed in the original packing. These guys have no idea what they're talking about. That is big, Mar- big that Facebook is Marketplace expert guy over here. <laughs> that is overpriced for here. the asking. It's normally around like forty-five dollars. To open so much closer. Yeah, so you were closer. But what's our next product? <laughs> Loosely Lord. dealing with weather. A Twisted Tea Snowboard! We're so back! 60, 60.5 inches long. You can ski while you twee, baby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Are you good? Nope. Ski while you twee is a new saying I'm going to use. Mm. How much would you pay to ski? Into the- Garrett Two, already has an answer. $250, hashtag oh, get wow. twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan. I'm going to go with uh, 120 because I tweet myself. Mm. Um. <laughs> 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 What's the twee be? What is the twee be? Price is $200. Uh, no. Garrett Lynn Dutton is on the board. Get twisted. <laughs> Garrett, how does it feel to get twisted um, in this round? First off, I want to thank my mom, um, my dad, uh, for showing me Facebook Marketplace from a very young age, I used to buy so much crap off of there. Uh, I still do at the age that you, I am. You know you haven't won yet, right? It's still it's still a hey. You know what they say? One. Minor setback for a major comeback. Mm, mm. Yes. Hashtag yes. get twisted. Well, baby. we have one more product this round. Let's take a look at it. I gotta race so much. Painted pony okay. and lightning bolt in the back. Not gonna lie, kind of cool. It is kind of cool. It could be nice, but that's like, so that hard to think about. That'd be like a piece? sick desk piece. It would be. It's a nice conversation starter. You ever see my lightning horse? <laughs> <laughs> Gary's <laughs> yeah. still riding. Aven, what's your answer? I went with seventy-five because I have no clue. Mm. Um, Would you put that on your desk? Oh yeah, Garrett. Hundo. Oh, One uh, hundo for the lightning horse. It sounds like something from like Percy Jackson. It's probably like probably do probably because it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't. I, I never I, read it. Definitely, definitely isn't. Answer. But, you know. It's probably either a thousand or thirty bucks. Yeah. Wow. A thousand <laughs> is who pay a thousand dollars? It's literally either a thousand dollars or ten dollars. Well, Welcome to market. Go there might be some that's a thousand dollars in this next round right after this break. In the charming town of Stillwater, there is a hidden gem of a restaurant called Freddy Paul's. The man behind this culinary wonderland is the passionate and talented owner Brian Saliba. Brian Saliba, a talented chef and entrepreneur had always dreamt of creating a dining experience that transcended the ordinary. Freddy Paul's is more than just a restaurant, it's a culinary adventure. The restaurant has something for everyone, from succulent steaks and mouth-watering burgers to delectable vegetarian dishes. Freddie Paul's continues to thrive as a restaurant and a symbol of the love and passion that goes into every dish. As the years passed, Freddie Paul's remains a culinary beacon in Stillwater, thanks to Brian's unwavering compliment to his craft and the community that embraced him. It's a place where memories are made, flavors are celebrated, and the spirit of Oklahoma cuisine lives on, thanks to one man's dream that brought it to the world. I'm Travis Taylor. I'm the general manager for the Hotel Indigo Tulsa Downtown. I have a real good understanding of the food scene in Tulsa, and I'd love to see the way it's evolved over the years, and I'm glad to be part of it. My name's Kevin Kyle. I'm the executive chef. I started here. The idea was to do something local. Everything that we try to do has Oklahoma products. Tulsa is a big oil boom when we were the oil capital in the early 1900s. How Route 66 put Tulsa on the map. And the menu around that was, well, what would an oil worker take out in their their lunchbox? That's how Prospect kind of came from. We never get crazy busy, so we can do a lot of different things with food. And we can do things like wine dinners and have local dinners. We have a private dining room that people can come. I think being 
being at the heart of the old Route 66 has kind of weighed into us getting a lot of different things brought in from different areas of the United States. When I taste something on our menu for the first time, the first thing I go is, yeah, that's Tulsa. Welcome back. We're looking at our friends in Ponga City with Peyton Little. This is Market Mania. Oh, look at that like a pro. Both Electric. signature. That's your catchphrase. You said the thing. Oh, wow. You did say the thing. Oh, okay. wow. Uh, oh. You know what's even more shocking? Garrett only having one weather. Okay, okay, time out, time out. The slander is crazy. I'm just from saying, a you, I'm just saying, you were very excited to be on the show. Okay, there's a difference between being excited and not performing under pressure. It, that's okay. okay, because this could be your Happens. this could be your this, day. This, this could be, be it right here. This will be the this prize. product could be yours. Red oh, lobster dude. hurricane. Get it? That goes so hard. Hurricane. <laughs> it's what? Oh, holy crap! I'm gonna guess ten dollars. Do we have a leak? We had a leak. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. There's a leak what's, in the what's boat. What's the price, guys? There's a leak in the boat. Ten bucks. Imagine that. We're Man. gonna inflate the prices. <laughs> hey oh! Everyone gets two points. Let's go. We're getting it exactly on the money, and we all celebrate. This is we're a college production at the end of the day. It's not that serious. <laughs> Let's. I told you that was gonna be my prize. <laughs> on the dot. I mean, would you? Don't call well, it. Come back. My biscuit. We got it right, boys. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's move on. Oh, it's the market multiplier. Oh, no. He's coming in. There he goes. <laughs> Confetti. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Woo! Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> the market. The market. <laughs> <laughs> the market multiplier was random today, selected by our own Devin Bloomer. Yeah, Devin, I'm thank you What's so much. On? I'm sweating too. This is insane. See the product that's up for the market multiplier. Double the points are available for this product. Handcrafted LED large cloud lamps. It just turned out to be rice cakes. cakes. <laughs> hey, whoa, time out. I love rice cakes. <laughs> I mean, I don't, Somebody think you, boo this I don't think you can eat those. Yeah, the price is not revealed this time. Thank the Lord. Uh, Peyton, I think you can. You just need to dare someone hard, like lar large enough. I mean, Devin can reveal the price whenever he wants. I got, he, he has the power. Garrett. $36. Avid. 47 Actual retail price is $113. Avon oh, <laughs> continues wow, the pummeling. What? what? <laughs> Yeah. Chow. Um, yeah, you ha put put that in your room for 113 du bucks. Ducks. Ducks. Bucks. Uh, you want me to call? The <laughs> <laughs> you can call the duck if I'm you not, want to. Call the ducks. Please, man. <laughs> call the ducks. Call the ducks. Feel call the teal. ducks. Feel it. Come here, ducky. <laughs> <laughs> and come here, next product. <laughs> the bowling ball tornado, ten pounder. I don't know. That says definitely one. <laughs> oh, a one pound ball? No, it says ten. Look at the other ten one. Oh, that's an no. It's, it's LBS. It's hundred and one. That's pounds? LBS. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> hey, tornadoes have to weigh a lot. I think it's a size. Number. I'm not kidding. Or are you a bull, Garrett? Uh, I once was. Mm. Hashtag. Oh wait, no, that's, that's not the not square one. Not the score. Not. The Even. <laughs> Ignoring the squeak, I'm going with a whopping, uh, that says $28, by the way. $28 for the bowling ball. Mr. Badut. $32, please. Why $32? Um, because that's how many teams are in the NFL. <laughs> sound logic, sound oh, okay. logic. Okay, fair That's enough. a great idea for and, the weather And everybody edition. who was in the NFL, statistically, could have possibly went bowling while they were in college. Mm. Or alive in general. Let's see if his logic's right. It was 35 oh! bucks. He was so close to getting it right on the money. We are so bad. <laughs> but Garrett gets it right. And we are going into our last product of the round before our final round shows the product. Budweiser Umbrella. Ooh, that's hard. When you say Budweiser, you've said it all. What is, yeah, there's there's a toe hanging out, as, uh, as Zach has pointed out. Uh, a man's foot, or a woman's foot, we don't know, is sticking out. From the umbrella. Oh, it flashed up again. Now it's gone. What is the prices? What do we think? I feel like I'm for the so butt, wrong. Foot not included. Foot not included? Foot not included. Change for the Budweiser. Just kidding. No, Garrett's been the <laughs> alcohol expert today. <laughs> getting the twisted tea right. So let's see. Hi, Mom. What, Garrett, what is the answer? Uh, $60 Start hashtag drinking stop beer. drinking beer. 
<laughs> Even. I'm going with 114. 114. Big money, big prize. 100 bucks. <sighs> Avon gets the Bud Wiser as we go hey. into our last round. Hey. It's going to be a Clydesdale. I would have had the price. It's going to be very difficult to mount a comeback, but we're going to see if that's possible as we go into our last round. As the camera's crazy after this. Thank you for coming to Stay and Play Pet Resort. This is where we can board your pet at any time for your convenience and make them feel at home. We take have five different kennels for your pet. We have luxury suites that come with TV, camera, fireplace, and the webcam is at your free. We have Kitty City where you can board your cat for multiple different prices. Stay and Play Pet Resort offers a free chauffeur service. If you go to Baker Animal Clinic, you can drop your pet off anywhere between 7.30 a.m. and no later than 8 a.m. Stay and Play Pet Resort offers a game day sports package. For $37, you can drop your dog off during the game day as early as 7.30 in the morning. Policy states you do not have to pick up your pet up until one hour after the game. At Stay and Play Pet Resort, we thrive to treat your best and give them the best at home feeling. We would design something, it was set on the counter and people was either, if enough of them said, you know, this just, is, this isn't it. It never made to the line. Dad was excited that they're all original. They were all designed on mom's kitchen table and it gets in your blood after a while. We're very happy that Pamela and Michael have taken over the business and kept the family going. We took the business over in 2017. When we found that it was available, we wanted to keep the legacy of family alive, but it was also incredible products that deserve to be a part of Made in Oklahoma's story. We were a part of Made in Oklahoma years ago, and so it kind of grew as Made in Oklahoma grew. Oklahoma is ingrained into our everything that we did. We've been here most of our life. That's what we entailed our whole business on, was the Oklahoma homegrown feeling. <laughs> Welcome back to this chaotic episode of Market Mania, the weather edition. Getting a little, getting a little, uh, getting salsa a little foggy activate. over here. No, woo. Um, <laughs> if we want to update on our scoreboard, Ribbit. it is eight to four right now. Uh, going into our final product, <coughs> final product. Um, Garrett, how are you feeling right now? Oh, whoa. Okay, no, I was. <laughs> oh, I was... <laughs> Wait, this isn't fair. Wait a minute. <laughs> um, Wait a dang minute. <laughs> for the folks at home that don't know. Garrett, do you want to tell them where you used to be employed? It used to be my pleasure at Chick-fil-A. Mm. <laughs> Surprise, Shawty! Oh no, I'm so <laughs> dead! <laughs> I was hoping Garrett wouldn't actually know the price of this, but I thought the reveal of that would just be too funny. So, you guys need to wager your points before you make your guesses. How many points you're wagering? One. You're wagering one. Oh, you don't. You don't have to announce it. Oh uh, my bad. Well, I'm sweating. Now you did. It's okay. <clears throat> He's nervous because if you look at I it statistically, statistically he has a chance to win this game. Garrett. Yes. How many points did you wager, and what did your guess? I'm wagering all of them, and it's forty dollars, Peyton. It is forty dollars. Oh, no, Do you know it. this for a fact? <laughs> I. I don't know if that's the exact dollar. But I know it's close. Mm. Well, well I'm, I guess I'm. I guess I'm. You know, thunderstruck. Then. Aven. I went with twenty-three. Mm. How many points did you bet? <laughs> One. Mm. That might be a really good guess, guys. Man, I Garrett. Mean, now Garrett's nervous. I may be cooked on this. This is a big. This is a big moment. This is the pleasure of winning Market Mania. No trick for I want it to be my pleasure. You want it to be your I pleasure. I want it to be my pleasure. Garrett's pleasure. Guys, my hands are sweating. Aven's pride. <clears throat> You could you could hear the a pin drop in this room. Dink. Reveal the price, please. Thirty dollars, which means I have to math real quick, but I think that's Avon Molinar, right? That's Avon. That's Avon Molinar. Avon secures the victory. Ah. Garrett, I'm so sorry. I'm not a math guy. <laughs> I was so so very wrong. <laughs> Avon secures the win. How do you like me now? Garrett Dutton. You know what? No, no. <laughs> I'm not after that one. Man, what an intense Man, game. Man, listen. Truly. Man, Man listen. Man, listen. Truly an amazing experience. 
Garrett, how was it? <laughs> and um, Avon, for your trouble, for your victory. Swear to God, if he gets hostess, <laughs> you win this OSU poncho to protect you from the rain. <laughs> that might happen against Utah. Yep. So I can't you can put it on. Go for it. Put on your victory. It's, this is this is the victory poncho right here. Uh, if we want to get a tally on our final score, we've never had this this much time uh, after a game has ended. Whoa! Excuse me, sir. Feeling uh, it's nine to zero. Final score, nine to zero. We never really get final score tallies, Garrett. I'm sorry. Does that, does that mean I get on the leaderboard for uh, <laughs> worst loss? I mean, you, you're with I a bunch like of other there. people. This is the. This feels like it's market mania Could after hours. Could I at hours. least get a creativity point? I mean, good <laughs> afternoon still. Yeah, yeah. You're you're kind of killing the ears. My line. You're kind of killing it. You know good what? Af good afternoon, still walk. It's the line. It's the product? it's the line. Did Please you, tell me you know what. I did you have a favorite product? <laughs> um, my favorite product. Uh, I guess. Hey, could guess you go off camera and <laughs> put that on, please? <laughs> Thank you. Even though I got it wrong, I mean the Chick Fil A jacket. Uh, just because I felt I felt honored in a sense. Uh, fun fact: these boys used to see me at Chick Fil A all the time. That I was did. before we all became. Besties up here. He so. got me a sandwich, and and, and, and Garrett, since I did used to serve these guys sandwiches. So. Since since you came on and you fought, here's the bag to Avon's oh, no. poncho. Oh, yes. Avon is stuck behind camera. Let's get a reveal of this this sick prize right here. Woo! Look oh, at that. I feel that. like a traffic cone. Mm, do you feel protected from the rain? And no, I'm, I'm actually really hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say this it's just so warm. These studio lights are bright. It's a. I am Sweating, it's like a sauna thing in here. <laughs> like, you guys, do... I'm drenched in sweat right now. <laughs> uh, can you give us a little weather forecast in your one shot, real quick, as you're wearing your poncho? Give us your best. Give us your best. Well, it's uh, a little warm in this poncho right now, but I can feel the rain coming, the rain being my sweat. Um, back to you guys at the desk. Wow, what a, what a forecast. <laughs> Uh, Avon, what was your favorite product of the day? I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, that tweed snowboard Dude. went hard. Mm, I love it. <laughs> like, I, I popped you off. You can't when help I, but like tweet yourself when you think about it. Like. <laughs> I popped off when I saw that. I was like, they're gonna love this. It's gonna be fantastic. I think my favorite product of the day was uh, the tornado bowling ball. So because we couldn't decide if it was fair. No, because we couldn't decide if it was a pound or if it was, you know, I think ten okay. pounds. Okay, here's here's my technical deal. Okay. I believe it was a size ten bowling ball, but it weighed a pound. Okay. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I I don't think they make pound bowling balls. I don't think they do make they? them either, but I mean like. Do if they made a one pound bowling ball, I would bowl that thing so fast. Yeah, that's exactly how I thought this would go. Before you guys leave, do you guys want to shout out anything that you guys do in Ocali at OSU? Anything right now? Shout out the weather. Yeah? Shout out the weather and shout out these folks. And Love shout them. out to you lovely people. Thank you for hopping on Market Mania. That is all the time we have for today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. We have big plans for the future for Market Mania, but until then, stick around, hang out with us, and we will see you on the next episode. Call your mom, I guarantee she misses you. Have a good night, everybody. Pecans are staple to Oklahoma. In fact, many of our native pecans come from trees that are older than Oklahoma statehood. My father's the one that got us started into the pecan picking. I was probably 10 or 12 years old and we started off with the one little mechanical picker that you pulled behind a four-wheeler. Then we'd go home at night and we'd clean them on a TV tray. I guess uh, watching my dad work hard when we were young and people started trusting him and getting more and more groves, uh, we just kept growing. Being a, a relatively new and fresh company, we get to sit in the same room with people who have been a part of the Oklahoma economy for decades. It's opened a lot of doors. It's gave us uh, quite a bit of exposure, and I think people, you know, will take a small company like us a little more serious. We're just going to continue growing as long as our community lets us and uh, our customers keep on buying, and we'll see where it takes us. <laughs>
I always say, you don't do this on your own. I mean, you have so many people that help you along the way. For me and for many of us, that's my name on that jar, and it better be good.